yeah uh, good morning everyone i hope uh, you are able to hear me and uh, you are able to watch my screen Amit, this is additional session we are providing to everyone, you know. And uh, people who are not able to attend for this session, they can go for a video file. This is not actually a regular session. This is additional with the interest of uh, me, I'm taking session. This is not actually in our syllabus. And uh, people who are not able to attend this time, obviously, the session will be recorded and it will be shared in uh, Google, YouTube so everybody can access it. So these are the some general questions. See, when we are attending for uh, an interview and uh, uh, the first session, the, the question they'll ask you, like, uh, how long you are with Oracle Fusion Cloud? HCM. Uh, let's say last three years we are working. How many projects? Generally, projects takes uh, five to six months, including support and all. We can say one year. So three projects we can say. Last uh, three to four projects. All are implementation only nowadays. Obviously, uh, we'll implement and we'll do testing and we'll go for support also. Okay. Then uh, oh, they'll ask you, are you a functional consultant or technical consultant? Or actually, what is exactly your role in your cloud? So the training, what we got is a 100% functional. It's purely a functional consultant, what I have given the training to everybody. It is like a complete uh, setups and requirement gathering from the client is all things. Then also <clears throat> we are comfortable to work as a technical. It means uh, it's going to be techno functional and uh, the primary is a functional and comfortable to work as a technical. Okay. And uh, in fact, uh, from December uh, 20, I think so 20, 20 or 25th onwards we are starting a uh, fusion technical everybody will receive a notification also uh, that whatever we have done uh, technical part that is sufficient for uh, cloud basics but we wanted to go for in depth of the technical from december 25th onwards Naresh will update you through that so you can interact with them not a problem okay fine so the Main agenda of this particular session is, uh, I would like to explain how you can uh, introduce yourself in uh, interview and uh, how you can explain your experiences. So the first thing is we have to tell that uh, we involved in the four modules implementation of Fusion applications, Global HR, payroll, absence management, as well as in the talent management. So four modules we have involved. So what exactly you have done in the Global HR? Or what is your uh, starting steps when you are implementing Fusion HCM? So what are the first steps you have to perform? So the first, uh, generally when we are working for a client, we'll go for implementation project. We'll be creating an implementation project to the client. After that, geographics will configure. Geographies, okay? So where do we configure the geographies like, uh, you know, There will be only one geography. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay, fine, not an issue. I'll update later. Even let me check this. Mm -hmm. The Saturday and Sunday it won't work. Fine, no problem. Geographies, uh, geographies like you know, country, state, city, like that, it will be configured. Then uh, enterprise structure. 
job structure, the same steps we have to explain. So, finally, if they ask us what exactly you have implemented in Global HR, so I configured Global HR to the client. We configured enterprise structure, then job structure and position structure. Then we have created jobs, positions, and grades. Instead of telling jobs, position, and grades, we can simply say workforce structure. Workforce structure is a combination of four departments, jobs, positions, grades, and locations. And then we configured business units, departments, and also the trees we have configured and employee hiring, transfer, global transfer. This all general testing only. We will not perform it. Actually, who will perform transfer? global transfer that will be done by the client okay and then uh, security implementation roles this is what we have to explain okay so that's a global hr point of view what exactly you have done if they ask you in global hr what work you have done in your project is i have established an enterprise structure i configured workforce structures and also i have implemented the roles i have configured the security profiles data roles, flex fields configuration, value sets creation, lookups modifications, and trees, uh, department trees and uh, position trees creation, assigning these trees in the management approvals, this all work we have done in the global HR. That's what we have to explain. Okay. So any doubts here in this? Yeah, team size, we can say maximum three to four members, Suresh. We cannot go more than that. In the cloud, maximum four, not more than that. Very big implementations, we can say like uh, recently, Rilgear insurance, you, everybody knows it in India. Rilgear insurance, successfully they went for go live in Fission HCM with the team of uh, 15 members. So it's a very good uh, team. 15 members means it's a very good project. Okay. So it depends on the number of modules which your client is implementing. We'll find the team size. We can say three to four more than enough. Okay. So here, <clears throat> uh, that's about global HR point of view. Very important thing here, what we have to remember. Uh, Sandeep, number one it is. Uh, Sandeep, you are still in the, just joined, right? Yes, yes, fine. So actually, this session is for old, old batch. Okay, no problem. Attending uh, session is uh, very good, not a problem. Okay, fine. There are a lot of clients now going on Entity Data, Oracle India, and uh, OC, uh, Infotech company. These all are doing it now, a lot of requirements. How many clients uh, your company is having? So we can say around 20, 25 clients are very common nowadays for Fusion. Have you done any certification? No. What is your role in the last project? In the last project, I involved as a functional consultant. It's better to say that I configured the complete global HR and options management modules. Both the modules we have configured, whole and sole end-to-end -end process implementation. Okay, And client was using uh, uh, some other business application. Don't tell EBS. Don't tell that our client is using our collapse uh, EBS. Then they'll ask you a lot of integrations and other questions. Okay. Yeah. And what is the team size out of this? So what is your name? Uh, that's it's like uh, team size is something you can say three to four members, not more than that. If you tell five, six members also not a problem. What is your role in the last project? Just now I told can I uh, can I employ should want to allow to create an absence after three days process after start date. Uh, in absence plan, you have when you are creating an absence management, absence plans, uh, there is a enrollment date. Enrollment date is there. After that, waiting period is there. Waiting period we have to mention as three days.
yeah uh, you want to allow the employee to apply for a leave after he complete options right so obviously uh, that will be taken um, in the options types there is an option called display items their future dated future date allowed or not okay so there you have to check what is your uh, regular activity regular activity is very simple when we are implementing fusion hcm to the client first we are trying to understand the client's hcm process that we are converting into fusion applications we'll prepare a documentation oem methodology we'll prepare oem methodology just one second i'm just downloading some documents here Yeah, Kunal, just wait. Please wait. I'm searching for some documents. Yes, uh, fine. Yes, it can be allowed, uh, Sandeep. In SaaS model, it's not only fully customized. It's like an always 
after six months or after one year if you want to go for again uh, same some changes everything can be done not a problem okay fine so the documentation part i was just trying to explain it looks like uh, global hr uh, solution design documents this oem methodology will be using oracle unified methodology that we'll be using here Fine. So what did you configure in global HR? Just now I explained, right? So I have explained just now. Uh, approvals where any transaction has to automatically rejected after the risk. If it is not approved, how will you implement? There is a concept called auto approve. There we have to do. In BPM worklist, we have to configure. In BPM worklist, there is an option there we have to go for configuration. In BPM work list, there we have an option. There we need to configure this. There we need to go for configuration. And do you know anything about escalation? Escalation is not related to actually fusion. We have to ask the some more uh, information. Okay. Uh, escalation is like in case if there are any issues which are not as raised, then it will be used here. Okay. Uh, while creating an element, different types of uh, classification, it's a payroll module, three classifications like primary, secondary, and subclassification. Uh, in primary uh, classification, we will see that uh, standard uh, options like that different, right? Already I've shown you, there we will be going for it. Okay. And uh, which classification you created an element so generally standard earnings uh, standard and as well as uh, we'll be using uh, supplementary earnings options elements uh, this all will be used here uh, we will be using standard like basic and uh, options elements this all are uh, same thing like voluntary provident fund elements here it is Okay, it seems it's got struck up. I don't know why. Fine. Meanwhile, we'll go for this. So last class, uh, last interview, they have asked me regarding in global HR, uh, which department, which trees you have created. So better to say that we created two trees, position tree and uh, department. Uh, position tree will be used in the approvals. We have already used in approval, right? Uh, management, uh, manage uh, approval transactions for HCM. And department trees will be used in the security profiles. We have already used this data role with security profile, right? There, exactly it will be used. Okay. And another one is, uh, where exactly you can generate? I'll list out the questions. What are the options uh, <clears throat> What are the options for uh, person number generation? We have manual, automatic, prior to save, automatic, upon the save. Okay, where do you configure this? There is a, this is important, manage, enterprise, manage enterprise uh, HCM information. Another one is manage legal entity HCM information. Okay. 
okay so that's that's where actually it will work so I, i'll give you the more information person number and worker number difference you can go ahead with this way of searching you will easily get this is person number and uh, explained right that's clear now it's uh, this is important so if you want i can send it in the whatsapp in the chat window please copy so you can select one of the following person numberation gender method your enterprise manual automatic prior to submission automatic upon final save manual you can use the manual method to manually enter a person number when creating person records you can update person numbers in the manage person page okay uh, and uh, automatic prior to submission uh, automatic prior to submission generate uh, displays a person number when creating a person records okay and uh, upon final save the automatic upon final save method create person numbers only after the add person transaction is approved after the add person transaction is approved then only it will go for uh, create a person number you cannot uh, view the person number when creating the person record however you can view the person number on the manage person page after the transaction is approved okay uh without gaps numbers will be generated for example uh, you started hiring an employee uh, number is generated if you say prior to submission uh, already person number generated so you try to go to the next level what happened and finally you cancelled that person so you cancelled the transaction so that what happened there will be a gap there will be a gaps so this here are no gaps that is the difference prior to submission means in case if we cancel then definitely it will uh, go for uh, this options here it is it will have the <coughs> options here okay so the automatic prior to submission person number for contact records when you are uh, hiring an employee okay so there is an option uh, identification details personal person information and uh, after that assignment right employment and assignment information then compensation information uh, there you will see that in the second tab right uh, when you are hiring an employee you will go for hire uh, you will capture employee spouse name our father brothers information this all right so there it will be used so you want to have the separate number that we can provide it what is difference between person number and worker number okay so here you yeah, definitely tell you can contact narv always narish in case if you are not received the video file okay so here we can see the difference between person number and uh, worker number <clears throat> uh, each person has a single person record in enterprise the person number is the person records unique id allocated it is allocated manually when you create the record the person number is required and valid throughout the enterprise the person number is required and valid throughout the enterprise allocation of worker numbers in a legal employer can be either automatic or manual so person number will be configured at enterprise level worker number is configured at uh, legal entity level worker number configured at legal entity level here 
okay the number sequence for automatic allocation can be either global or specific id so just now i told right two tasks are there you can verify after this manage enterprise hcm information legal entity so once the instance has come on monday you can check it very important you have to go to that particular task and see what are the different types options are there this is solution design documents okay and uh, we are going to check this here it is fine anyway the document has got some confidential information i'll share it later yeah so the solution design document and all it contains is like a functional setups like requirement gathering this all we will see that yes yes okay so in global hr point of view the first module global hr point of view this only we will expect the questions what is ldc legislative data group it's a group of psus and uh, what are the set uh, assignment components uh, set assignment means rds these are the four uh, things comes under the rds reference data set okay and then uh, uh, what is the uh, common reference data set and uh, why don't we assign the jobs uh, directly to the bu uh, positions can be assigned right positions can be assigned directly to the options here positions are different from one branch to another branch uh, that's why we will directly assign to the business units but jobs are almost uh, common in every bu so that's why we will just create uh, one time and assign to the reference data set for example uh, 40 branches are there and uh, 40 departments one department is common in every bu 40 times i have to create instead of creating 40 times i'll create one department and i'll say this common reference data set so that what happened the department is common for all the business units okay that's what explanation we have to give and another question person number this all and uh, they'll also ask you uh, the questions uh, whatever we have discussed only but uh, i'm just telling uh, straight forward questions what they'll ask generally what is business unit okay and uh, can we have legislative data groups multiple in for a country yes we can have multiple for a country here okay 
next uh, uh, from the global hr point of view that only obviously they they'll ask you the security profiles and uh, roles abstract role job role and data roles and what is duty role this all they'll ask you here and uh, what are the security profiles we have organization level this all we have right this all options and uh, uh, which role actually you have created out of four roles right uh, we'll be creating mainly uh, only on the data roles most of the times data roles only data role means indirectly job role job role with uh, security profile data role job role with uh, security profile this okay then uh, that's what global hr implementation will be telling we don't tell the actions and action reason those all are simple tasks okay so in payroll what exactly you have implemented they'll ask you tell me what what exactly you have done in payroll module so we'll we'll tell them that to the clients here uh, uh, we have implemented payroll for uh, uk and uh, uh, UAE payroll and first we'll be configuring the cost allocation key flux field and we'll configure the legislative data group LDZ then we'll configure legal employer tax reporting units and banks configuration after that we'll create consolidation group organization payment method personal payment method this all will be doing it okay so this all and then we will go for creation of elements and salary basis assignment this all will be doing so when you explain that answer then they'll come up okay what is the uh, classification what is salary basis uh, tell me different types of uh, elements which you have configured okay so like this we will find uh, straight questions okay last class uh, we got it here one yes santosh um, no 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 not legal entity business unit we never assign the job or position to the legal entities okay so employees we will assign the employees only to the legal entities all your jobs and uh, positions must be assigned to the business unit business unit to the legal entity okay it will not be assigned directly to that Just one second there is one link uh, which will give the difference between uh, release 12 and uh, release 13 and uh, this another important question is uh, we talked about in global hr uh, employment model right we talked about employment models two tier employment model three tier employment models right so here uh, employment model so in release 12 we don't have three tier employment only two tier is there in release 12 we don't have any uh, this option so only two tier employment model that is one of the thing we have to remember so and uh, here is an, a link uh, which will gives us the difference between release 13 and uh, release 12 in fact i am sending in the chat window please copy that I think it is there somewhere. Let me check. What happened here? It is. Yeah, so new features in Fusion HCM release 13. Uh, HCM common features. Okay, secure access to the position records using area of responsibility are the HCM position hierarchies. 
and global hr uh, improved self service contact effective dates employee assignment hours add eligible jobs for worker assignment statutory dependent fields like lot of two tier uh, see this is a uh, two tier multiple contracts single assignment employment model this is additionally added it's very important okay uh, add uh, contracts for contingent workers also change the legal employer guided process okay this all explain it release 13 what are the changes you can see okay uh, manager worker union are senior dates enhancement hcm position hierarchy is time and labor model no need to worry leave it we are not talent management uh, this email notification profile management person profile security this talent review success and management goal management what are the things are added Pro performance management uh hcm data loader what are the new things are added you can go ahead with this i just i'm going to enter you don't need to go for h and a. okay just go for it here so that's about the global hr and payroll point of view what uh, exactly you are to explain to the interviewer uh, this okay So, next, uh, absence management, what exactly you order? So, we will tell that in absence management, uh, we have to explain right from the first task. In absence management model, first we have gathered the requirement, uh, what are the plans are required for the clients, what are the absence plans and uh, what are the options types are required that we have first we define derived factors then we defined uh, eligibility profiles then we have defined the options plans options certification options reasons and options types and also uh, calendar events configuration this all we have done that's where we have to explain so when we explain all these thing to the client then obviously uh, they'll ask you and the interviewer uh, they'll ask you okay what is options plan Options plan is nothing but like when you want to provide and uh, these options, it will be used. Options, leave plans. What are the different types? Uh, there are uh, three types. One is accrual plan, qualification. Another one is no entitlement. In the latest version, one more is introduced that is called uh, agreement. Uh, that is called agreement here. Okay, that is called agreement here it is. Then after that, uh, when, we, when we'll say here, uh, just, uh, uh, what are different types of options types that definitely they'll ask you. There are uh, like uh, generic reason and all they'll expect. What are the types of options uh, reasons here it is. Okay. So here, if we go for options types, so we can see clearly uh, options types, options pattern, options plan, options type, action items, nothing but uh, certificates, uh, options certifications and options reasons. And uh, category is nothing but combining all these things comes as a category. Okay, so like this, you, you can go for uh, explain here it is fine. 
so uh, any other doubts you have in options management to uh, whatever fast formulas we have discussed that we have to explain definitely shaker there will be a questions on the flex fields they'll ask you tell me uh, what are the key flex fields are there in uh, fusion hcm there are two flex fields right one is uh, uh, people group key flex field another one is uh, uh, cost allocation key flex field we have to say that we worked with both okay then regarding uh, dff and uh, extensible flex field they won't ask any questions uh, because uh, there are a lot of every page uh, we have right but they may expect uh, what is dff and uh, what is difference between uh, dff and uh, eff extensible flex fields so obviously uh, that we know already we have discussed also okay then other than that the new questions uh, what they'll expect here is uh, technical there are a lot of questions uh, that we'll see tomorrow tomorrow we'll have the same time 7 a.m uh, or tomorrow or something like I'll, I'll explain okay i'll update okay so that in absence management mainly whatever we have discussed beyond that they won't expect anything so next Uh, Sandhu's termination rule uh, will be using for basic element is uh, actual termination date or last standard process. Uh, last standard process, LSP. Okay. And payroll module uh, will be configuring it. Yeah. So next is an uh, talent management. Uh, what exactly you are done? They'll ask you. Uh, in talent management, what exactly you are done? So in talent management, uh, we have uh, profile management. So there we can say that uh, content types we have created, person profile, model profile, these things we have created. And uh, we talked about uh, goal management. Goal management will have only goals, goal plan. And uh, that will be assigned to the performance management. Performance management, they will expect you, uh, we can create uh, performance uh, management definitely they will expect you the entire process tell me uh, what are the things you are done in the performance uh, management so I have explained a lot of uh, tasks right in performance management uh, one is uh, first uh, rating models then after that we done the questionnaires questions questionnaire template then uh, review periods document periods right and assigning this uh, options to that area this all things we have done right performance template uh, performance uh, how many sections are there i have told right uh, there are uh, four sections one is uh, Questionnaire, uh, there are six sections, right? Goal, goals, questionnaire, overall summary, and uh, employee evaluation, manager evaluation. You have to go through a couple of times. Maximum, whatever uh, we have covered, that only they'll ask you, but a little bit. Questions-wise, they'll you may not be knowing. That's all, not more than that. Okay, so that's what we can say from the talent management. Yes, fine. So that is uh, functional side, uh, four modules I have explained. In global HR, what you have done means what you have to explain. And payroll means what? Options management and talent management. Uh, tomorrow, same time, and uh, uh, seven to eight, and the uh, same uh, 
meeting id we will discuss the technical part technical part we will discuss okay and uh, any questions are there note it down i think you have my email id just drop out and so that by tomorrow i'll clarify all the things okay so that is another uh, one we have to follow here it is and tomorrow i'll explain the technically what are the questions are asking i have not prepared actually the list of questions even in functional also like in the file i have explained in the video file it's already recorded i think you can go through if you want to module wise uh, questions what i'll do is today i'll prepare i'll give that file tomorrow okay so let's see you tomorrow on the same uh, 7 7 7 o'clock tomorrow morning 78 on the same meeting id we'll talk about uh, technical point of view okay yeah uh, suresh uh, we need some uh, of the succession and all i'll cover it later because i don't have time let me complete tomorrow the technical interview point of view how to prepare and all okay i'll update you that will cover meanwhile you can complete this all right fine okay thank you thank you guys